Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So as promised, here is the next video um, that I wanted to share. Or I shouldn't say the next video, the next journal that I wanted to share. Now this kit is so super cute. Um, this one, I think I called it Chubby Birdie because this little bird here is so cute with his little belly and his little, I don't know, chubby body. So <laughs> it's really cute. Um, the kit that I used for this was from Ephemeris Vintage Garden and it was called Summer Prelude. And it's just, it's a very, it's very like a light and airy kit. And I'll show you what I mean like as we go through, but you'll see. It's very vintagey, but really pretty. So let's get into it. So this journal, it measures five and a quarter this way, and then seven and three fourths this way. And this journal actually, it doesn't need a tie. I just ended up putting the tie because the color matched really well with the bird. But see, I mean, it does lie pretty flat. I mean, there's a lot of pages, but it does lie flat. And look at the back there. Isn't these, aren't they? It's like, it's so pretty. And then I just added some lace right there on the spine. And let's see, I'm in frame. Let's go inside. So the inside cover is one of the background pages. And I don't know if you can see this, if it's going to pick it up on camera. But in the background of the background page, very lightly, it almost looks like it was printed over, um, like, I don't know, um, an invoice or a bill or so, some handwritten something or other. But it's so gorgeous. And then this first page here, this is uh, vellum. And then you get into it. Here's a little chubby bird again. I had to use him again because he's just so cute. I love him. And look right here. It looks almost like there is a piece of, um, like a piece of tape on the page that's old and yellowed. It's just so vintagey looking. And look at this. Looks like there's a crease right there. You can see a very faint image of a doily there. Um, here, I tried doing one of those pocket things. You know. Well, it made a pocket, so this is one of the cards from the kit. And then in the back here, these are, well, this is from the kit, I should say. And then here I made, just on, this is a shipping tag. I just used some of the background paper and added this. And this little piece right here, it's like a little die cut piece. I got that from my friend Alicia. She sends me a lot of these little pieces, which I really like, because you can add them to collages and stuff. And then this folds down. Um, and then, you know, this opens up and opens up there. So you can definitely journal more if you want. Oh no, now I forget how, I, how does this go? Yo, yeah, like that. <laughs> um, but I see, um, Yvonne Preston do it in her journals a lot, but she got it from Terry Woods. I believe that's who originally came up with that idea. And then you can tuck there and then you can tuck, actually, I think... I don't know how she does it. Maybe like this. No. I don't know. I thought there was a way you could tuck it where it won't fall all the way through. But I'll just leave it like that for now. And then here we have some vintage music paper. This was a little cutout, like a little label piece from the kit. And this journal has a lot of journaling room. Here's a little half piece of newsprint paper. Another background page. Look at there. There's the friend. Isn't, aren't these little birds? They're just so cute. I love them. Love them. And am I, there we go. I think that's better. Um, here I just have some of this um, fabric. It's kind of like a fabric fiber type thing. Um, I caught a whole bag of it from, um, ouch, sorry. I'm trying to reach something that before it falls. Oh, Think it's gonna fall hopefully you won't hear it crashing in the background um but i'm sorry as i was saying i got a whole bag of this all like different types of fibers from my friend lolly she had taken apart this rug and the rug was made up with all these really cool bits and pieces so she sent me a bunch and i love using them because they're so differently colored um that you can match them with different journals which is really neat and of course this is a little flip up here and then in this pocket we have some more there's a journaling card um this i printed on oops no it goes like this 
this is a page from this kit as you can see it matches um, and then you can write on the back of it and then here's some more little bits and pieces from the kit and I love the pinks because you know pink is my favorite color so I love all the different pinks in it and then here is some nice paper. I want to say it's a sort of like a parchment paper, but not parchment as in like the crinkly parchment, like resume parchment paper. And then here I have a little piece. I think this actually came from um, my friend Alicia. I think she cut up a shirt and this was like on the shirt. I think this one was it was what it was, pretty sure. And then it flips up and this flips down here. We can have some more journaling space. We have the ledger. Here's another bird friend there. Here is another background page. And then this is the coffee dye page. And then I use one of the little cutouts to make a pocket. And here we have it's from the a page from the kit. And then some more little bits and pieces to write on. Look at that one. That's pretty. But this was definitely a really fun kit to work with. Here, I just a little collaging. I like the way that came out. And then I stapled it. I didn't even sew it, which is really cool, too. I do like that industrial look of a staple. Then here's the background page. Then here I made a little pocket. And then in the pocket here, some more little bits and pieces to write on. So we have the little chubby bird here. And then on the back is blank, so you can definitely write on that. And then some more bits and pieces. And then that all gets tucked somehow nicely back into there. And then you could actually write on this part if you wanted to as well. So some more pages to write on. Or write on the back of. And that's one of the cutouts from the kit. There's another little bird. So cute. It's a very cute kit. It's cute not in the sense of like, oh, it's cute. It has cute features but it's a gorgeous kit gorgeous gorgeous and then I just put that up there I think what attracted me to it was the colors okay let's look at this real quick I mean I I don't know if that makes sense it's light and it's airy but it's cute and it's gorgeous and I love the chubby birds it just this kit is really nice and I really like it a lot and here's some more bits and bobs Sometimes I don't like taking the stuff out because I feel like I put it in so nicely the first time that when I take it back out, I ruin it a little bit. Like it doesn't ever look the same. Like it looks kind of disheveled when I put it back in. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. We'll see. And then here, another little collage on there. I like doing stuff like this because it's very textured. You know, you have the texture here and then the papers and it just... I don't know. I like it. Here's one of my sideways library cards and then, then two pieces from the kit. There we go. Some more writing space, some more beautifulness, another little punch, uh, not a punch, a collage down there that's stapled. Here we have a little ribbon there and then another little tag blank on the back so you can write on it and another little die cut from my friend Alicia. And then here another page that you can journal on the back of library card I'm just gonna call them library cards because I really I have no idea what they are they just look like sideways library cards to me yep and another flip up and flip down and another little tuck here with some more bits and pieces inside for you to journal on back of on the back of not on back of that didn't really make sense and oh wait there might be something to I was trying new tuck spots and pockets yeah oh this is okay this is another one of those Terry Woods pockets that I see Yvonne Preston do all the time um so again, it opens this way and then it opens completely out. But what I did was I put my cards in like that this time. That's what I did. So it is a little bit different. Same setup, but it just 
different and then I um, only glue down two of the sides and then here's the vellum again and on the back so <clears throat> oh excuse me this is the chubby birdie kit which is so cute I just want to squeeze him not hard, just gently. Just his little belly because it's simply adorable. <laughs> so I hope you liked this walk through this journal. Again, it is available in my Etsy. I'll leave the information below if you're interested. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.